My life matters to me, but not just mine. Everyone's. Don't fear failure. It's all as true today as when you were 12. Handle that business. Keep your dreams intact. California! What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy FB Aftermath. Back with another YouTube video for you guys. I just want to say appreciate every single one of you for subscribing to the channel. Also, make sure you hit that notification button um, just to get the notifications for the videos. I usually post 6 a.m. in the morning. I don't know how many of you are up at 6 a.m. Well, on the farther east side, it will be 9 a.m. So, you're probably up at 9 a.m., but uh, I post 6 a.m. Um, I believe it's like Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, or whatever. Just 6 a.m. whenever. Uh, but the topic of today is calisthenics. Now, I get a lot of questions about how calisthenics, you know, how much benefit there is to calisthenics training. And calisthenics training is great. I see the guys that do, but uh, Hannibal, I think he's really known for the calisthenics stuff and the body that he's built and the incredible things that he can do with calisthenics is, is, is you know, outstanding, you know, especially how he looks. Now, I don't know how strong he is when it comes to weight training, but calisthenics is um, something very important, I think, that everybody should incorporate into their training. Now, Calisthenics, when it comes to strength training, is is a pretty tough subject because when you think of the strength training, you think of you know heavy loaded weights, you know max deadlifts, max, I mean max deadlift uh, amount or bench or squat, and I think the strength training coming from calisthenics is in a total different you know zone because. If somebody's just doing calisthenics, you know, and that's all they've done, and somebody's been doing the weightlifting, my bet's going to be on the person that's doing the weightlifting, of course. When you do weightlifting, when you start out with weightlifting, calisthenics doesn't become enough to really gain the same strength benefits as the heavy weight lifting. If you started out exercising and calisthenics and you're getting strong from that, of course, because you haven't, you know, put yourself out there into the, the weight training, you know, era of fitness and it can it's it's something that I honestly use for like deloading and it's pretty hard for me to go in the gym honestly and just do calisthenics only every time I'm in the gym I just want to pick up weights I just want to lift heavy I, you know because that's just you know how I I like to do things I don't feel like I've gotten a workout in um, unless I'm just lifting a massive amount of weights in some kind of way but I will let you guys know that I did a workout, a calisthenics workout, which I'll be showing you momentarily, um, and it, it kicked my ass. I was just making things up as I go, or th things that I've done, you know, from pull-ups to jump squats, lunges, um, ab routine, you know, uh, dips, things that really help develop some type of muscle growth. Now, when it comes to calisthenics and muscle growth, it does take a while longer. I feel like the calisthenics training builds more of that lean that lean look not very bulky you don't get i don't feel like you get crazy bulky when you don't use weights but you do build muscle um very lean muscle um at a slower rate of course um and once again it's, it's a good way to help with mobility in your your joints your your muscles you know stretching them out um doing full range of motion um it's a good way to stay healthy um and it's, I mean, it's just a good way to change things up. So this exercise that you're going to see um, here at the Most Farm Gym, I'm doing a full-on, full-blown calisthenics workout. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. You can definitely try it out too. So, you know, so starting out, make sure you guys grab the Creative Outlier Gold headphones. These are the gold versions, you know, the rose gold. I, think of that, I feel like they're rose gold, not necessarily gold, but they're dope. They are 10% um, um, off with code AFTERMATH. You understand? So just grab that joint link in the description. So starting out the workout, um, I, I love this gym. This gym is awesome for athletic training, calisthenics stuff. A lot of athletes and stuff come through. It's in Burbank. Um, but starting out, like I said, the first thing I, I think of when it comes to calisthenics is pull-ups. Like what's the best you know, back exercise in body weight, and it's pull-ups, whether it's, you know, outside grip, inside grip, you can do many things with pull-ups, you can do muscle-ups, there are multiple things you can do, um, I did muscle-ups earlier, um, and I didn't really uh, do too well, I did like five, right, 
because my calluses from the deadlifts and stuff with Barquan were really bothering me. So my hand, my hands were bothering me a lot today. You really don't see it right now, but they were bothering me. So you see me um, doing the pull-ups into the lunges. I did pull-ups 10, lunges 12, and then I did 10 jump squats. And that was a superset. I did that four times, everybody, four times. So, you know, write that down, put it in your notes or whatever. And this was a good start to the exercise. Got the blood flowing, got me pumped up, um, got my, you know, adrenaline going or whatever to pretty much continue on with the workout. And I needed to do this because when I was first exercising like this, I really was not, I was like, yo, this is kind of boring, you know? And I don't know if anybody else gets like that, but I was just like, yo, what am I doing? Like calisthenics, blah, blah, blah. And I'm not, I'm not lifting any weights. Like, this shit's boring. And, you know, as you'll see, eventually, like, shit just got real out of nowhere. Like, I was just gassed a little bit. I was like, yo, like, I don't know if it was the fact that I thought it was boring that I was getting tired so fast, but, I mean, you know, I, I didn't understand it because I don't even get that tired or that sweaty or whatever when it comes to the heavy weight training or lifts that I do with dumbbells or barbells. And that really kind of caught me off guard. So I was like, all right, this is this is a different feeling. I'm feeling it right now. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to be a little bit more humble to the calisthenics training. I'm pretty sure if somebody else put me through their exercise, it would be another story. Um, so next up, obviously, dips. Dips is definitely something for the chest that you definitely need to hit for, um, you know, some type of chest development, uh, arms development as well, shoulders as well. Um, pretty much stretching that lower half of the chest. I mean, stretching into the lower half. Um, really doing full range of motion. Uh, I didn't really lock out all the way. I did a soft lock out because I wanted to keep tension on myself. I felt like if I locked out fully all the way up, then I would pretty much take that, that extra volume work and pressure on my triceps. So I didn't want to do that. But this is definitely good to do. You should definitely try it. I did four sets of 15 reps. Um, next up, this is for abs, so full abs training right here. And what you do is you lock yourself out like you would on the dips, and then you bring your hips up, right? So what that does is you're working that core from mid to lower lower um, half and really working those hips. It's more of a hip hinge backwards that really develops strong abs. Um, I've done these for a while. Then I superset it with knee ups. Just trying to keep my my body um, tight and up, and use try to trying as much as possible to take the pressure off of my hips. Because a lot of times when people do knee ups or leg lifts, their their feeling is more in the hips rather than their lower abs. So what you want to do is actually bring those knees a little bit up. That lower back probably is going to come off the pad slightly. So you're just really trying to breathe that, bring that knees into the chest rather than just up. So you're you're making your you're curling into like a little baby ball type of thing. That's what you're going for. And I've, I've gotten that in the comment section a lot. You know, when I train abs, um, you know, it's all in my hips. Well, that's you know, oh, Morty, you're still training some sort of abs in that area, but pretty sure you're using more of the momentum instead of the, the the actual movement that you need which is like I said you want to curl those knees all the way in as high as you can into that chest so I call these the spin the soup or stir the soup you get one of those uh, BOSU balls not BOSU ball but the medicine ball thingy it's not a medicine ball I don't know what the hell it's just caught, but you're going around the world pretty much eight times each side. These are killer, and these are definitely good for mobility when it comes to the shoulder while also getting a good core exercise. So I like these because um, actually when I was trying to rehabilitate my shoulder years ago, I was doing these to help me get that motion back together. And once again, you get that additional ab exercise when it comes to this. So I did this for four to five sets, I believe. Uh, eight to the left, eight to the right, simple easy well I mean I could say simple easy but it didn't feel simple easy and I mean that's pretty much it that was the workout today uh, not too crazy I got done in 45 minutes oh actually I forgot my bad my bad um, I ended the exercise the work whole workout with these so five push-ups crawl to the wall one two three four one two three back down five push-ups cross the wall one two three four one two three back down five push-ups again and then you go to the wall push-ups Straight to the wall, back down. One, two, three, four, 
and oh shit, five, damn, it, it, was, it was that bad. Yo, I did this three times. I was like, I was thinking about that four times, and I was like, nah, I can't, I, I, I can't do it four times. But this, um, I've kind of been seeing people do something like this on, on the gram, so I wanted to throw it in my exercise, and I actually really liked it. Uh, I liked what it did to the, the, the arms, you know, the, the pump that I got from the arms and my shoulders work that I had to do when you go to the wall crawl. And um, like the, the hardest part about this was just going straight from the floor to the wall and you're still getting that additional ab work in. So it's like, like, like a lot of things today I did were ab training things and um, kind of bullshitted with some battle ropes. I really didn't do much here. You know, usually I would do this for about 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off for six rotations. And um, I ended up having to leave uh, for whatever reason. I forgot what I had to do. But I ended up having to leave. But that's the exercises, guys. That's a workout. The exercise is something in the workout. So that's the workout, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope you guys, you know, took notes of what I, what personally, what I think about calisthenics training. So uh, that being said, make sure you like. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification button once again. And make sure you guys follow my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash fbaftermath. Would muchly appreciate it for all my gamers out there, anime fans, whatever it may be. I do chatting. Um, once I move, I'll be doing fitness workouts at home and uh, yeah, my um, normal gaming. So appreciate you guys. Catch you later and peace out. Of course, my life matters to me, but not just mine. Everyone's. Don't fear failure. It's all as true today as when you were 12. Handle that business. Keep your dreams intact. California!